We improved reliability. As I said, the Kimi didn't finish, which is, which is a shame. Uh, we could have scored a lot more points today. And uh, you find it a shame that your teammate didn't finish. <laughs> yes, yeah. I have. I, maybe uh, I don't know how full much one, you full, like each other, but uh, Kimi, and, Kimi and myself we get along. So <laughs> I think it is a shame. I thought as a racing driver you might like that you have a couple of points advantage over him now, but. Uh, uh, I can see your oh, sorry, point. I didn't want to get you on a off the foot there, sorry. <laughs> yeah. We yeah. Oops. I think look, uh, at him. look at him go. No no. I think uh, at the moment where where we are, uh, we want to make sure we catch catch you guys and uh, uh to do that we need uh, both of us. So yes, I honestly think so and I honestly uh, didn't want to, to see the second car not finishing today. Very good. Because I'm ready, I'm ready for it now. Before I, you caught me a bit off guard, but now I'm, now I'm ready for it. Ludovico <laughs> from Global Sport to Luis and Nico. No way not to ask you. Uh, considering what we saw in the last few races, uh, we, there will be any conversation between both of you considering the start tomorrow. It's no, it's no different. You know, it's uh, it's always going to be a battle and. Um, what have, what's in the past is in the past, and, uh, and now we move forward, and it doesn't change. Lewis, anything to add? It's the same as you just said. Thank you. Make sure you take both of you out so I can go through. <laughs> yes? No? <laughs> Try. <laughs> Any more questions? Thank you very much. <laughs> I know you're waiting, you just told me that you're waiting for the girls to come over with you, the Radisson <laughs> Hotel, room number 708, but I think they've been standing all day, so I think they can sit down, no? I think yeah. you're, you're free, yeah. feel free to sit down. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> sit down. Why well, do you say sit down in Russian? Victory rank in your career, is it up there with Singapore 2008? I think... Uh, you have uh, a very strong result from Ferrari today. Eddie Jordan just said that you two should be kicked out of the, kicked out of the race. Again, you know, if this is the, the final thought of the weekend for you, is I think because you, you didn't see the, the performance of the team and the performance from, from our car this, this weekend. Fernando, what have, what have you got to say to the people who would call this a dirty win and if you win the championship, a dirty champion? I had 19 races. If you look at the overall races, uh, there are a lot of points that uh, we win sometimes, and uh, there are a lot of points that we lose sometimes. Uh, Fernando, you, you, you feel that uh, some people is worried because you are back on the championship? Um, maybe it seems like this, yes. The reality is, though, isn't it, that you couldn't beat him on the track, so you had to get the team to do it for you? That's your opinion. I'm, I'm asking you, is that, is that not your opinion? No. He had to give you this win, didn't he, Fernando? No. Can I go? Or go, or Sebastian. Have a shower? <laughs> Sebastian, give us your thoughts. Well, hopefully next question is for Sebastian, no, stay, stay. <laughs> Everything perfect, no problems at all. Um, were you low again? Huh? <laughs> Were you low again? I'm joking. You can laugh as well. It was a joke. Come on, I mean. Riley. Lewis said, I mean, then. That's I didn't know what the question was. I'm sorry, I wasn't listening. Julien Ferro from Canal Plus. A question for all of you except Romain Grosjean. Uh, do you feel ready to be a father? Okay, let's start with Sebastian. <laughs> Oof, I don't know. Maybe. Obviously, Roman is a father, so maybe he can comment on, yeah, what made him think he's ready or not. Uh, I think it doesn't, for all of us, <laughs> I, I think, in best case, it doesn't take too long to get the job done. So, <laughs> I think uh, in that case, we are all ready. So. <laughs> we are still in free practice. So. <laughs> 
It would be good if uh, if they can come a bit closer, and as long as they don't come too close. Let's be honest, do you really hope so? For the, yes, because half seriously, of, yeah, half of me thinks about. You finish 30 seconds ahead of us, and you hope that it's going to be closer. So you hope you slow down. That's what that what you're saying. I, I hope that you can I give us. I, I hope I hope you can give us a challenge because it's important for the sport and and for the fans. And and I do think about the show. You know, uh, half of me or a part of me thinks about the show because um, I want to put on. I want to give people uh, a great time at home watching on TV or at the track. So uh, if you do come a bit closer, that would be awesome. It's fine. I think the first suggestion, if you don't mind, could be that uh, your garage becomes public for Malaysia and uh, everyone can, has a, can have a look. No? <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you're su suggesting? <laughs> no, I'm joking. You, uh, nice. you can come if you want. We can invite you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for the invite. I'll come. Okay. Friday, Malaysia. Okay. Engineer's room. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Debrief. I'll be there. <laughs> to answer, how stressful or demanding is a Friday for a Formula One driver, and did this unusual season change anything in your kind of working on Friday? Um, Friday is one of the most demanding days. Um, start quite early with engineering meetings, and you have all the all the testing all day long. So there's a lot of preparing technically um, for the weekend for Saturday Sunday that's the most uh, that's the most important uh, <laughs> period of the weekend and um, uh, and then there comes in, um, what else <laughs> that's it really a lot of technical stuff check, check the radio volume. <laughs> did you get that do you check the radio volume <laughs> Anyone else want to talk about Fridays? How stressful is it? One, two, three. Yeah, it is obviously. <laughs>